Ladies and gentlemen, boys, girls, MBs, I told you I would be here. We're live. What a special no intro morning. What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening, afternoon, pre-noon, no matter where you are in the world. I'm Hassan Piker, and this is the Hasanabi broadcast coming to you live from sunny California, Los Angeles. We are live, folks. It's 8 a.m. It is Wednesday, January 20th, 2021, 8 a.m., and we are currently watching the inauguration of the 46th president joseph robinette yeah, biden jr the orange man is officially out the orange menace the orange monster orange man bad racism is over fascism is over we voted a tyrant out of office everything i'm saying is sarcastic right now twitch has an inauguration stream what the fuck? the honorable michael r pence and mrs karen pence step out onto the platform, head to their seats. Oh, us for the flag, yes. Yo, this shit is hella sleeper, by the way. I was trying to tell you guys earlier, like, listen, y'all are probably not used to this because this is like the first ever inaugural address that you've like been excited for because you hate the president. But inaugurations are just like fucking total sleeper. I mean, I'm doing it because you guys were yelling at me last night to cover it. But I'm just letting you guys know that like out of all the ceremonious shit that we've covered, this is perhaps the most idiotic one. But anyway, let's do it regardless, you know? <laughs> all right. Welcome to the inauguration, folks. It's it's literally the Oscars, but for ugly people. Because DC is Hollywood, but for ugly people. With a lot more power, of course. Well, maybe not as much power as The Rock, but like more power than, I don't know, fucking Brad Pitt or something. That's it. We are back. Look at that. Coverage from every angle. From every angle. 360 no scope, baby. Uh, that's not... Okay, I didn't mean it like that. I, I didn't mean it like that. I meant like, like they're covering it from all angles. The... The inauguration, you know? As I was saying, boys, now the bolo tie is on. Now, you might be wondering, why is the bolo tie on? Well, that's because it's a special occasion. What is the special occasion? Well, the end of racism. Folks, we did it. Please, go on. Pat yourself on the back. We did it, folks. Hold on, I'm looking up copyright-free celebration more song. Ladies and gentlemen, racism is defeated. Joe Biden said, hey, are you the CEO of racism? Guess what? This is what I got for you, Jack. This is what I got for you, Jack, a knuckle sandwich. And the CEO of racism said, on God, no cap on a stack on a buck 50. For real, for real, for real. And he was promptly and subsequently defeated. Now, we didn't think that the racism CEO was going to come back after, you know, Barack Obama was elected president as a black man. We thought credible things are going to happen for the rights of Kenyan Muslims. <laughs> Turns out America had another opinion. Anyway, oh, oh, they're coming in. My mom woke me up this morning. Well, not woke me up. I was already awake. I was live tweeting from the bed. And my my mom comes into my room and says, what are you doing? You're supposed to be streaming. It started already. Like, okay, mom, hold on. I got to take a shower. Like, I'm watching on my phone already. Get up, lazy some bitch. No, I'm just kidding. She didn't say that part, but I don't want to out her too hard, but she literally was like, you know, I should be more excited. Like, cause she was super lip. I, I, I should be more excited that there's a female vice president. Like this is a huge deal. And yet I'm so cynical now. She's like, I don't even care. That there's like a, a female VP. A I mean, this is cheeky. like, this doesn't feel, okay. Can we be honest for a second? Let's fucking drop the act. Does this really like seem big. like celebratory? It doesn't really feel like a joyous occasion. Am I, am I just like totally fucking black pilled or does this honestly feel dystopian? Like we're watching all these people in masks, try to hold a symbolic event that they've held so many times over. And it honestly feels weird. First of all, the crowds are, of Maybe course, empty. That's the automatic dub for Donald Trump. Sorry. Donald Trump may or may not have allowed COVID to spread, knowing full well that he was going to lose the election so that he could have a smaller inauguration, so that Joe Biden will inevitably have a smaller inauguration Trump than him. Okay. Crazy. So that's automatic dub for Donald Trump. Big brain moves. There's no one there. They're playing like fucking band music as like, you know, these old corpses get together in the middle of the cold, in the middle of a goddamn pandemic where 1,400 people are dying every single day. It just doesn't feel like a moment of celebration. I, I want this to be a moment of celebration. And you expect me to say that this is a moment. This is a joyous occasion, the moment of celebration. But in reality, it doesn't feel that way. There it is. There it is. I'm going to be such a hater. 
but they look good. Jill Biden is is looking real nice, dude. Very classy, very elegant. Oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm doing the newscaster thing. Jill, Dr. Jill Biden is coming down looking extremely elegant in her YSL outfit. Uh, it's turquoise to mark the occasion. Turquoise, of course, is known as a solemn color. Turquoise is known as a color for mourning, but in a casual capacity. Just kidding, it's not YSL. It's gotta be Ralph Lauren, probably. Some Americana shit. And here it is, boys. Yeah, this shit looks sad. Yes! I'd like to ask how your air fans in a blizzard! God. This is the day when our democracy picks itself up, oh, brushes God. off the dust, and does <laughs> what America always does. Oh, thank God Mitch this McConnell and his multi-millionaire wife are there. Takes place in front of Amy the COVID Barrett is there. Dome, it is remarkable, remarkable arson, to say that Trump killed democracy while simultaneously panning over to, to Mitch McConnell, panning over to fucking Amy COVID Barrett and all of these other people. It's such bullshit, dude. You you left the game away. You give the game away when you say, this is a union, we are, we, our democracy was under fire, but we defeated fascism at the ballot box. Like, get the fuck out of here. Mike Pence is standing right there. It's bullshit. Well, I should have known when Senator Klobuchar got involved, at least there'd be a touch of snow up here this morning. Snow was on my a moment ago, but thank you, sir, because we fucking got people throwing up sleepers. Bro, what did you think? Y'all got spoiled. Okay, I'm 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 pa this is so boring. I'm gonna I'm gonna lower the audio for a second. Blah blah blah. Everyone's gonna say the same exact thing. Democracy we thought was gonna be over, but hey, look at us celebrating side by side, hand in hand. Mitch McConnell's here. You know, we're going to all have a fucking orgy after this, you know. Uh, it is probably yet another incredible example or yet another incredible moment where like, if you're a crank, okay, if you're an average political understander and you look at American politics and you listen to people saying for the past four fucking years, like how... Donald Trump's a fascist, orange mo mango Mussolini, orange mandingo, whatever. Like, you know, he's fucking ruining democracy. He's killing democracy. He's killing democracy. He's killing democracy. And then you turn around and you're like, well, here are all the people he killed democracy with. We brought them here to celebrate as though nothing has fucking happened. It's over. Like, if I'm a fucking crank, if I'm a tinfoil, uh, tinfoil crank and I'm watching this shit, I go, Oh, fuck, they are pedophiles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're not. Well, not, not all of them. Wait. Also, I didn't mean to say that while the, the, the pastor was walking up to the stage. But you know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's all a fucking, it's all theater. At this sacred time, we come before you in need. Indeed, on our knees. Yet I don't know about you guys, but I'm fucking praying for the content, boys. I have my hands open. I am staring up at the sky, and I'm saying, content gods... Why have you forsaken me as Americans celebrate the orange man leaving office and the symbolic transfer of power? I say to myself, where is the content? We are channel die now. Yes, it's over, folks, because everybody knows politics is done after after Donald Trump. Politics is over. Pog, dude, I'm pogging so hard right now. This is what I mean, though. This is what I this, this is what I mean by when I say like it's kind of sleeper. It's like a whole bunch of this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, here for the singing of our national anthem, accompanied by the president's own United States Marine Band, please welcome Lady Gaga. Trump is gone. Trump is gone. <laughs> oh my God! What? Yeah, what was I thinking when I said liberals are not going to be content? They're so grandiose and ridiculous. Of, she's got a golden mic. Of course, they're going to be fucking content. Really? No encore? No poker face? That's a fucking Focus. hard 5 out of 10 performance. So help me God. Y'all remember when my agents asked Kamala Harris's team to come on an interview on my broadcast and the team looked up, I guess, like any of my videos of Kamala Harris and were like, no, we're not going to do that. Why would we do that? Wait, what are they playing in the background? They used to, like, literally, the berserkers, they used to call them Dilip. What? So that they can destroy- Oh shit, it's J-Lo! The motherfucking K-Hive.
I can't believe they played K Hive at the inauguration. It's a lot harder for me to snipe takes right now, but someone in the chat said, God, it's so hard to be a liberal man. <laughs> It really is. Shit is embarrassing, dude. At least, like, Republicans have no fucking filter. They don't care. They don't understand what's going on. They're like, what do you mean? Of course we're going to have Ted Nugent come up and be and sing. You know, we're going to put a boot in their asses the American way. Like, that's how we're supposed to do it. When you're a liberal, you're like, oh, well, this is kind of whack. Like, you know, a lot of people died. And this is just like, uh, it just like literally doesn't feel happy. Or maybe it's just for me. I don't know. God damn. Damn, bro. She sang the fucking... She parted the clouds with her singing, dude. Okay, J-Lo's the goat. Never mind. I'm sorry. This is the first inauguration oh, yeah, in I the saw history that. of America where J-Lo was the warm-up act for Chief Justice Roberts. Uh, with that, yes! it is Fucking now yes! my distinct yes! Give honor me more jokes! to introduce oh! the Chief oh! Justice Inject it directly into my veins, Court Amy! Oh, I'm a sick freak! To the next oh! president of... Dude, Hunter Biden's looking so hot. My king, the real president, I, dude. Joseph the shadow Robinette cabinet. Biden Jr. do solemnly swear. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. do solemnly swear. Bro, so what is that Bible, dude? President. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank president. You. Bro, that Bible that he, it's, uh, it's over. He, he swore in. Bro, that is the first edition Bible, bro. That's the Bible that Jesus wrote, dude. Yo, Jesus literally wrote that Bible with his hands, dude. What the fuck is that Bible, dude? Bro, where is... Yeah, where is QAnon, dude? Hey, by the way, chat, I'm gonna need an update from your families, from your QAnon families on, like, how they're coping with this when we're done with this process because I need to understand, like... So what happens? Like, you know, Joe Biden is now president. Uh-oh. Everybody's watching it. Donald Trump literally left in the most pathetic way possible. I thank my predecessors of both parties for their presence here today. I thank them from the bottom of my heart. And I know... You can brunch again. You can be racist again. We strength. did it. We can avoid talking about immigration again. Today. Brunch is back uh, on the menu, the boys. We turn to those tasks of our time. Sustained by faith driven by conviction, and devoted to one another and the country we love with all our hearts. May God bless America, and may God protect our well, troops. You, you Thank on. you, America. Biden, now 46 Look at him. He's clapping. United States. Powerful, personal, emotional at times, delivered with command. <laughs> I don't know, man. Look, I try. I try to live it up a little bit, especially on occasions like this. But like, like is that actually emotional? Like, I, I don't I don't feel it. I just want like health care, better wages, social safety nets that the government provides to all Americans, regardless of race, color, creed, background. You know what I mean? What the fuck? God damn! A man's got a big ass belt buckle. Praise hell, praise Dale! Woo! Remember when he wore a Barry Sanders uh, 20 jersey and everybody thought he meant Bernie Sanders 2020 and everyone was mad at him? Apparently a bunch of fucking Republicans are so upset that he attended and he sang at the inauguration that they were like, we're need to boycott him. He ain't a real, he ain't a real one, brother. Look at him. He's hugging black folk over there like, oh, Bobby and Bill Clinton. God damn it. Not quite social distance there for Garth Brooks. Hugs there. <laughs> Former President Bill Clinton. Former First Lady. Oh my God, he's kissing he people. He's kissing people. He's not socially distancing. Wait a minute. Is this the plan? Trust the plan, boys. Garth is with us. He's giving them that Chinese virus. So much of this was speaking directly to Donald Trump supporters or those who may be doubting Joe Biden's legitimacy. He said, we won this. This is democracy. You are. It's so weird that they, I mean, this is like, I'm sorry, but it's so weird to like center your entire fucking speech and what like your announcement is going to be as president, what you're going to do as president around people who think you're a blood-sucking pedophile vampire. It's weird. Like, obviously he's gonna say, you know, I'm your president too. But like, 
that's the most that should be like where is the where is the unity like where how are we gonna have unity when like on the other on my other monitor i'm literally looking at QAnon theories i'm trying to figure out what they're doing right now like what how how are they coping with the reality that donald trump is no longer president and like everything that the q had promised them is is a lie they don't hear you for all america they don't hear you they only hear donald trump okay i don't know why you speak to them speak to those who got you there brother and speaking to those who got you there is not just about like here's the first uh a black capitol hill police department chief or something speak to those who got you there by addressing their needs and he kind of did that a little bit he talked about how this is a nation that is you know suffering currently and that's that's good that's understandable but it is an inauguration it is a largely symbolic bullshit event so it's not supposed to be you can't tell 40 percent of the country to go fuck themselves First of all, you can avoid them. You can stop acting like they're fucking serious. You can stop acting like they're legitimate. Motherfucker, people avoid the left all the goddamn time. Stop treating Republicans the same way. Stop normalizing Republicans. Just stop it. Also, they're not 40% of the country. They're like around 50% of Trump supporters who think the actions that Donald Trump took and like the storming of the Capitol and shit were justifiable acts. So those guys are gone. That's the GG. You know, just move on and they will forget okay that's all you can expect people always say like you cannot avoid republicans or you just can't act like they don't exist meanwhile 75 percent of the country believes roe v wade should be the law of the land and yet if you ask the republican party they make it seem like 90 percent of the country is literally on board with abolishing people's civil liberties and access to to get uh abortions destroying uh the bodily autonomy of women so they do that shit all the time for their own fucking specific policy goals and their own agendas they act like the entire country's on board and they do everything they can to fight for those goals especially ones that are uh, aligned with their long-standing uh, ideological agenda for their party for the future of capital owners and conservatism in general you can't say fuck you towards 40 percent of the country just as minorities who are being ignored and being censured screwed yeah and by the way this isn't to say like it's the same ignoring like racist Andes and and uh, moving along and clearly defining what your goals are that will be helpful to those racists anyway is not the same as ignoring the existence of marginalized people and like, you know, legislating against their better interests. It's just not the same. So, yes, I do think that you should just say, look, I'm going to be your president, whether you like it or not. OK, I'm going to tell you right now, folks, all the racists in the audience. If you're in here watching, if you're in here hate watching, I am going to be such a fucking tyrant. If I ever had power, I'd be so tyrannical towards you. I would give you that government health care, baby. I would give you that fucking government health care, whether you like it or not. I'd give you that $15 minimum wage. Oh my God, I'd be so tyrannical to you, dude. You'd be able to, you'd be able to not die because you can't fucking afford insulin, dude. That kind of tyranny, baby. You'd get dental care. Ooh, ooh, I'd be so tyrannical with that, dude. I'd be so tyrannical allowing unionization to happen in this country. You know what I mean? So you could have collective bargaining agreements and uh, get better benefits, more power over your workplace. That type of fucking real tyrannical nonsense. You know, I'm a monster like that. That's my fucking tyranny. Again, these guys are all crooks. They're liars. They're phonies. They're evil. But also, you know, look at us coming together. George W. Bush is a war criminal. His administration was perhaps the worst American administration, okay? The most violence pound per pound. The most violence per capita out of any, any fucking contemporary administration. I'm serious. You cannot come near the amount of bloodshed that Dick Cheney and George W. Bush caused. And I say Dick Cheney first. Sorry. Still the truth. Four years after Donald Trump is uh, done, I can finally say it without a shred of doubt do you hear my voice trembling when i say this no george w bush's administration was way worse than the trump administration we are still engaging in the wars that the bush administration started that's undeniable trillions of dollars millions of lives lost even more millions of lives that have been displaced as a consequence of that donald trump was terrible domestically he galvanized he emboldened he agitated some of the worst elements in american society he took some of the values that the republicans have been using to win elections and he cranked it up he just looked at the racism dial and it was like oh let's just click 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 crank it up a couple notches and an immediate consequence of that of course was white supremacist terror domestic terror increasing in this country white supremacist white nativists feeling bold feeling proud 
of their point of view. And that was truly devastating, make no mistake. Don't forget that this didn't happen in a vacuum. That the Republican Party has played a significant role in this because Donald Trump is the Republican Party. He always was. And he always will be. He is, despite the fact that he is a billionaire, born with a silver spoon in his mouth, spoiled, sassy bitch who loves drama. He is very much a better representative of those voters on the ground that vote for him. The small business, from the small business tyrants to the union electricians. Donald Trump was a great demagogue and he was a very successful Republican president. And that's why we saw so much death and devastation because he operated like a good Republican president would do. And that's precisely why he will be remembered like Ronald Reagan by the Republicans. Ronald Reagan was also a fucking horrific monster whose actions still harm this country. His deregulation, his tax cut, and so will Donald Trump's. Celebrating those who brought him there to the dance, from Mike Pence to Mitch McConnell to even fucking Ted Cruz, who literally until the last moment was acting as though this election was stolen, emboldening those who wanted to siege the Capitol, bringing them along for the ride and shaking hands and hugging and kissing one another. I mean, that's bullshit. You can't have it both ways. You can't say that these guys are purely evil, which they are, and then also sit there and be like, we got to unite with these pure evil pieces of shit. Doesn't make sense. So I thought this speech, as Mark said, it was full of cliches, uh, but it was very dark. It was actually, you know, not unifying. It was right. actually quite divisive. It's very difficult. Yeah, unify with these freaks. Come on. Go ahead. They will tell you that you are evil. They'll tell you that BLM is evil and violent while storming the fucking Capitol where five people die. They will tell you that Antifa is the violent ones while white supremacists go out and literally fucking engage in hate crimes that end up killing five to 20 people. There is no unifying with these people. They don't want unity. Republicans benefit from the polarization. That way they can make it seem as though they're different than the Democrats. The more you try to hug and kiss them, the more they're gonna say, look, this hug and kiss is bullshit. They're saying we're white supremacists. Don't hug and kiss them. Hassan, you are such a pepega, says anti-censor. The world has not ended. We are back. We are alive. And Joe Biden is now officially the president. I know Millie peeled away from the crowd there, but apologized for that, knew that was wrong, 